Hello, I'm Christina from Ilan Creative Co. Welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to create a seamless honeycomb pattern. Open Photoshop and create a new document. The size is not very important, but make sure that uh, your background is set to transparent. Now, before we get started, go to View and select Rulers and Snap. Also go to Show and make sure that Layer Edges and Smart Guides are selected. Also, if your Layers Panel is not open, go to Window and click on Layers to open it. Let's draw a hexagon. You can find the Polygon tool under the Rectangle tool. You just have to click on the Rectangle tool and hold until the menu pops up. Select the Polygon tool and then make sure the sides are uh, set to 6. Now click on your canvas and hold. Also hold down the Shift and Alt keys and rotate it until the uh, point is at the top. So this is how your hexagon should look like. The next step is to duplicate the hexagon. So make sure the move tool is selected and um, auto select layer is checked. Now click on your hexagon and while holding down the alt key, click and drag it to duplicate it. I'm going to leave a small gap uh, between them. That's because I want to be able to change the background layer. If you don't want to do this, you can also uh, set a stroke. Now I'm going to duplicate this again. So uh, just like before, hold down the Alt key and click and drag and make sure uh, that the gap is the same size between all three of them. Now I'm going to select two of the layers and uh, duplicate them again. If you can't select them using the move tool, just select them by clicking on them in the layers panel and holding down the control key or command key if you're on a Mac to select more than one item. Now hold down the alt key and again click and drag to duplicate them. Make sure that uh, the points of the two hexagon are just between um, the three ones that are um, down. Now uh, hold down the alt key and click and drag again to duplicate the hexagon and move them down. Now I'm going to select the three ones that are in the middle and just move them a bit to make sure that they are centered. If you can see the pink line in the middle, it means that they are centered. Now we are going to add a few guides that will help us uh, crop the pattern. So select the first hexagon and we are going to drag a vertical uh, guideline from the ruler to uh, the middle of the hexagon. So just click on the ruler and drag the guide until you feel it snapping into place in the middle of the hexagon. Now select the hexagon that's on the right and then again go to the ruler and drag a guide. We will also have to add two guidelines um, that pass through the middle of the hexagons on the top and on to the middle of the ones on the bottom. So select one of the hexagons on the top and then drag a horizontal guideline. You will also feel it snapping into place in the middle. Now select one of the hexagons that are on the bottom and again drag a ruler from uh, the top to the middle of the hexagon. Now click on the crop tool and just crop the area that's uh, between the guides. Now if everything is perfect, just uh, click on the check button to crop your image. So this will be our seamless pattern. To save the pattern, just go to Edit, Define Pattern and give it a new name. Press OK to save your pattern. So let's test our pattern and create a honeycomb background. So go to File, New and create a new canvas. Mine's going to be 800 by 800 pixels at 72 pixels per inch. So let's use the Fill tool to add a color to our background. Now I'm going to create a new layer and go to uh, edit and fill and I'm going to uh, search for my new pattern. So here it is, our honeycomb pattern. Now press OK to fill the layer. 
Now I want to show you two ways to recolor the honeycomb pattern. So if you want to recolor all the hexagons, uh, go to the bottom of the layers panel and click on the create new fill or adjustment layer button and select solid color. You can choose a, a new color using the uh, color picker or you can choose one from the swatches panel. Now press ok to save the color and then go to layer create clip and mask. So this is how you can recolor all the hexagons. Now I'm going to hide this layer and we'll select the um, pattern layer. Now using the fill um, tool, also uh, make sure that uh, the pixels are locked and choose a different color. Now you can uh, just recolor single hexagons. You can use uh, more than one color to do that. I think this creates a really nice effect. Thank you so much for watching. Please visit my blog if you want to see more Illustrator and Photoshop tutorials or subscribe to my channel because more videos are coming every week. Thanks again, goodbye!